Okay, we're going to get started with uh, using Audacity to create an audio recording and potentially uh, if we wanted to create the, a simple uh, mp3 podcast we'd be able to do that from here. So the first thing I'm going to do before I, I really get started in Audacity, as you see I've got it open here, but the first thing I'm going to do actually is create a folder where I'm going to save all my files for my project. This will help me keep things organized, everything in one place so I can get back to it. So I've created a folder here called My Audacity Project. Um, and I would recommend in your case, uh, probably if you're working in a lab, to create, uh, to use this um, a USB key or something along those lines and create your folder here and work off from that. Um, although if you're at home, you can save the project to your desktop. Um, but I would, like I said, I would make sure you keep everything uh, in one folder. So we're going to switch back over here to Audacity. So let's just do a simple recording. I'm just going to hit the record button and we'll see what happens. Hi, this is my sample recording in Audacity. I hope this works and we'll take a listen to it. So we can see here actually that you see the wave pattern and this indicates to me pretty quickly that my recording is working. If your line was flat, if you just had a flat blue line here um, or a flat line, um, that would indicate that there really is no wave pattern that your microphone or whatever your input device is isn't working. If that was the case, here in Audacity I can go to Audacity Preferences in Windows, I believe it would be going to File Preferences, and you can. I'm looking for this Audio Input Output section, and what I want to look for is the device that I'm recording with. Now, in this case, Blue Snowball is the name of the microphone that I'm particularly using for this recording, so that's fine. So you would find whatever device from this drop-down list that you are choosing to record from. Okay, so here's my audio file. Now. I'm going to save my project pretty quickly here. Let's save my project as um, my Audacity project. And I'm going to save it into that folder that I have. Save everything right to that folder. Now, you'll notice if I go over to that folder to take a look, you'll see something. This my audacity project.aup is my audacity project file. This is the file I can go back to, and edit, and revise, and make changes to. But you'll notice there's a folder in here as well, another subfolder called my audacity project data. This folder is really important. It actually holds all the audio, actual audio clips that you will use, and the actual project file is kind of more like an arranger of those clips and makes sure it holds them in place where you're using them. So you have to make sure you keep both of these. This folder is very, very important. Without this folder, um, your, actual, your actual audio clips won't be available to you. So now that we have this recorded, we'd probably say File, Export as MP3. And then I'm going to export that into my, my Audacity project folder and make sure I save the mp3 file. It gives me these options to add some extra information if I choose to. I'm just going to say OK. And if I go back to my folder window, you can see now I have a .mp3 file. This would be the type of file that you would share with classmates, that you could put up into iTunes U. This is the kind of file that you'd use to actually share with people. Once again, the .aup, pro, uh, .aup file is the Audacity project file, this is the file that you'd use to go back to and make changes and edits to. And the folder, once again, holds a lot of your audio clips, so make sure you don't lose these. And it's very important to know that the AUP file and the Audacity um, project data folder need to be in the same folder together. Okay, well knowing that, you should be off to a good start using Audacity.